in today's vlog. In today's vlog, we are filming a Q&A video for the YouTube channel of ATD, and we uh, have some questions for you, and of course answers. Um, I'm studying uh, AD Tourism Management at Breda University of Applied Sciences, um, and ATD is a local uh, tour uh, and activity uh, operator. It has uh, different departments, um, front office, back office and uh, the management side. The number of employees is 14 um, employees and without guides. We have uh, a lot of guides uh, who are doing the tours in different languages. And the company culture is very informal and you have to dress casually. And what is about your Internship. My internship is more about sustainability. My personal um, study is uh, advisor of um, sustainable environment basically. And my personal goal to be here is more um, independence rather than anything with uh, ATD bikes. So although this internship is really fun and it's really important also for me, but for me the goals are more personal than school based since they all since school is also our school also focuses on uh, some important things about my internship was uh, it has to be in semester one and in year um, in my first year uh, it has to be uh, an uh, internship in over 20 weeks so five months uh, the date was uh, September 4th till uh, January uh, 19 and you so for me, uh, my first internship should be in uh, June until uh, July, but due to circumstances I couldn't make it. So right now I'm working from uh, roughly November 10th to uh, February the 2nd. My internship is more about hours, so I need to make 400 hours in total. And otherwise my entire internship will be uh, disqualified. Um, I do have enough time for it, I have like 12 weeks, so I should be fine. Yeah, um, where um, my internship could be in the Netherlands, but has, has also be the possibility uh, to do the internship abroad. And I did choose for uh, an internship abroad because I would love to... Uh, yeah, to experience more places than only the Netherlands. Um, the internship is based on back office more than front office. Um, I'm, on, I'm working five days and for a half day. Uh, and no, half day I'm working um, on my school project. Well, here in internship we have different activities. For example, we help people pick out a bike for when they are going with on a tour but also with, um, for example, rental. These are two different bikes uh, due to the quality and uh, the state they are in. Um, we also like help with other supplies, for example, locks or side bags or a helmet or anything, anything that people really need actually. Um, another um, activity over here is also um, social media. So for example, yeah. these vlogs you see, these are also part of uh, internships for people like Anna E. I am also helping her with this. Thank you. <laughs> um, some personal qualities uh, you need here um, at ATD is that you are flexible, social, uh, good uh, with the communication with, uh, among the colleagues and the guides. Uh, you have to be a team player, of course, and very enthusiastic if you are doing the tours and you have to do it with uh, a lot of passion. Sometimes it can, it can be hard if you have an internship and you need, uh, you, you are searching for uh, housing um, and in today's vlog we are telling it how we uh, were doing. I found my residence through Idealista and you? I found my residence through uni places. Uni places, but we have also uh, other options you can uh, find it uh, in Airbnb. It's a lot of. It's, it's more expensive actually. Uh, housing anywhere is a good place to search. Uh, Pisos, uh, Gabino Home, uh, Foto Casa, um, Enkilar, and Erasmusu.com. 
and a lot of students uh, are searching for uh, students' apartments uh, through Fifth and uh, How is life in Seville? Well, life in Seville is very relaxed. Most people take it really easy over here and uh, take the time of the day for everything. For example, which is really different than in the Netherlands, shops are actually closed during the afternoon. Restaurants are an exception, but basically all other shops like a steel or uh, like a printer shop or anything like that are just closed in the afternoon and you really can't go in. Yeah, they have siesta. Um, another question is how could you prepare for uh, the country's culture? What I did, I did some Duolingo and I had some friends who, uh, friends who also uh, spoke Spanish so I could learn some uh, Spanish words. And how did, did you do that? I also did Duolingo a lot since my Spanish was basically zero and if I kind of did want to be able to communicate. Okay. It's still not perfect, but I get by. Yeah. And what clothes did you bring? Basically my entire closet, yeah, but I don't too. have that, that many clothes, so it all fits like, luckily in one uh, in two suitcases. Oh, really? Um, I had a lot of clothes with me uh, and I made a little mistake. I thought it was warmer, so I packed a lot of summer clothes instead of uh, some winter clothes. So yeah, I, I bought some sweaters here. Uh, which neighborhoods um, is advisable to look uh, for your internship and which are not recommended? Which are not recommended are uh, Rose, Rose Lambert. It's far away from the city center and um, I prefer to be a little bit closer to the city center. Bea Vista is not bad, but it's far away from the center. Uh, Torre Blanca, it's uh, a, dis a district uh, a little bit uh, on the outside of Seville. Uh, what I was saying, I preferred um, some uh, housing near or around the center. And where do you live in which district? I don't exactly know the uh, name of the neighborhood. So, how long does this type of internship take? Uh, you have to be very early. So, um, Sofia is a student city. So, a lot of, for example, houses or rooms or apartments are rented out really quickly. So, you have to be very early, like half a year earlier. It's to not too long. It's not too long. It doesn't take too long, but you have to be early. It takes, I think I took about two months to um, take care of all of this. But you have to be early, like I said. For example, Opel's the Rasmusbeurs. A lot of schools have a limited budget yeah. from the government, so you have to also be early with that. It doesn't take long, it just takes a while. Yeah, um, and yeah. did you get some help? I got a bit of help from my uh, teacher, but everything else was basically like, was basically sorted by me. Like, they didn't do a lot. But they gave me the necessary information on what I needed to do and then I just need to execute it. Yeah, I had some help uh, of family and friends, but mostly I searched it and did the process all by myself. Um, how the co country's culture and surrounding, uh, sur surroundings inf influenced my placement? Um, first, I was uh, I needed to adjust into the siesta culture in, was not hard for me but the supermarkets, um, supermarkets were closed uh, sometimes when I needed the supermarkets um, but I quickly felt, uh, felt home here in the city uh, yeah I loved Seville I don't know about you so for me the CS period was not really the problem it was more just meeting new people it just took for me quite a lot of energy and so I was a little bit tired the first couple of days but it's better yeah. Um, what things you need to visit when you are here? What, like, what do you need to do? Uh, well, the thing is, Sevilla is a beautiful crown, a uh, beautiful city. But and what you really, need, you just need to go through it and see what you like. So there's too much. Basically, like I've been here for like month and a half right now, and I have still so much things I want to do. I went to Malaga. I went to Cordoba. Ronda. Ronda as well. I yeah. also want still want me to go over there, um, and I also did things with you. We went ice skating, that kind of yeah. thing. So it's there's so much to do over here, and you just 
uh, have to take make time for yourself to yeah. basically do it. But I would recommend uh, Plaza España. Yeah, it's the most it's, uh, really beautiful it's place. the most beautiful place in Seville, in my opinion. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, and if you have questions, um, yeah, we can um, leave them down in the comments. Yeah. thank you, everyone. Thank you.